Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at how to remove the internal Ethernet card from the hand punch. Uh, this model we have here is hand punch 1000. Um, there are five screws including the, um, the grounding screw. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and take these uh, screws out. Put this up before so it might be a little tighter. You'll need a large Phillips head and also a smaller Phillips head once you get the motherboard out. Take the um, back plate off. This is a motherboard. Uh, there's two ribbon cables and then there's also the, um, the power for the uh, camera. This will be fixed right here. You might need to clip that off, uh, this little uh, wire tie. Uh, in this case it's just attached so you'll be able to pull this board straight out and uh, pull it out just like that. And then there you have your motherboard. And here is your ethernet card right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. My smaller Phillips head. The newer ethernet cards are orange. This is an older model. So there's two screws, one, two, and the post you can also remove. So this is if you need to switch it to a serial or USB connection. So, and that board just pops right off. Make sure you're grounded. That way you don't uh, put a static charge on the motherboard. But that's the Ethernet card right there. Let's take that out. And these pins can come off as well. And then just go ahead and slide the uh, motherboard back in. And it should, there's two slots here, to the left and the right. Uh, you can see the uh, slots that they go into. And that slides it right in so that it's flush with the posts. And then you just go ahead and put your uh, backplate back on and you should be good to go. So that's the uh, removal for the Ethernet cord for the Hand Punch 1000E, 2000E, 3000E, 4000E.